The electromagnetic field produced by an excited test coil extends in all directions around the coil. As test objects' geometrical boundaries are approached by the test coil, they are sensed by the coil prior to the coil's arrival at the boundary. The coil's field precedes the coil by some distance, which is determined by coil parameters, operating frequency, and test object characteristics. As the coil approaches the edge of a test object, eddy currents become distorted by the edge signal. This is known as edge effect. Response to the edges of test objects can be reduced by the incorporation of magnetic shields around the test coil or by reducing the test coil diameter. Edge effect is a term most applicable to the inspection of sheets or plates with a probe coil. End effect follows the same logic as edge effect. End effect is the signal observed when the end of a product approaches the test coil. Response to end effect can be reduced by coil shielding or reducing coil length in outside diameter and circling or inside diameter bobbin coils. End effect is a term most applicable to the inspection of bar or tubular products. Electromagnetic coupling between test coil and test object is of prime importance when conducting an eddy current examination. The coupling between test coil and test object varies with spacing between the test coil and test object. The spacing is called liftoff. The effect on the coil impedance is called liftoff effect. The chart shows the relationship between air, conductive materials, and liftoff. The electromagnetic field, as previously discussed, is strongest near the coil and dissipates with distance from the coil. This fact causes a pronounced liftoff effect for small variations in coil to object spacing. As an example, a spacing change from contact to 0.001 inches will produce a liftoff effect many times greater than a spacing change of 0.010 inches to 0.011 inches. Liftoff effect is generally an undesired effect, causing increased noise and reduced coupling, which result in poor measuring ability. In some instances, equipment having phase discrimination capability can readily separate liftoff from conductivity or other variables. Liftoff can be used to advantage when measuring non-conductive coatings on a conducting base. A non-conductive coating, such as paint or plastic, causes a space between the coil and conducting base, allowing liftoff to represent the coating thickness. Liftoff is also useful in profilometry and proximity applications. Liftoff is a term most applicable to testing objects with a surface or probe coil. Fill factor is a term used to describe how well a test object will be electromagnetically coupled to a test coil that surrounds or is inserted into the test object. It pertains only to inspections using bobbin or encircling coils. Like liftoff, electromagnetic coupling between test coil and test object is most efficient when the coil is nearest the surface of the part. Fill factor can be described as the ratio of the test object diameter to coil diameter squared. The diameter squared is a simplified equation resulting in the division of effective coil and part areas. The area of a circle is determined using the equation A equals pi D squared over 4. Pi over 4 appears in both numerator and denominator of the fractional equation. Therefore, pi over 4 cancels, leaving the ratio of diameter squared. d squared over d squared equals eta, the fill factor. Fill factor will always be a number less than 1, and efficient fill factors approach 1. A fill factor of 0 0.99 is more desirable than a fill factor of 0 0.75. The effect of fill factor on the test system is that poor fill factors do not allow the coil to be sufficiently loaded by the test object. This is analogous to the effect of drawing a bow only slightly and releasing an arrow. Little effect is produced to propel the arrow. In electrical terms, we say the coil is loaded by the test object. How much the coil is loaded by the test object due to fill factor can be calculated in relative terms. A test system with constant current capabilities being affected by a conductive non-magnetic bar placed into an encircling coil can be used to demonstrate this effect. For this example, the system parameters are the unloaded coil voltage equals 10 volts. The test object effective permeability equals 0 0.3. 
Test coil inside diameter equals one inch. Test object outside diameter equals 0 0.9 inches. Thus, the fill factor, eta, equals 0 0.9 over one, quantity squared, which equals 0 0.81. An equation demonstrating coil loading is given by E equals E sub zero times the quantity one minus eta plus eta mu sub E FF, where E equals the coil voltage with the coil affected by the test object. E sub zero equals the coil voltage with the coil affected by air. Eta equals the fill factor, and mu sub E FF equals the effective permeability. When the non-magnetic test object is inserted into the test coil, the coil's voltage will decrease. For example, E equals 10 times the sum of 1 minus 0 0.81 plus 0 0.81 times 0 0.3, which equals 10 times the sum of 0 0.19 plus 0 0.243. This, of course, in turn, equals 10 times 0 0.433, or 4.3 volts. This allows 10 minus 4.3, or 5.7 volts, available to respond to the test object changes caused by discontinuities, or decreases in the effective conductivity of the test object.